Initiating system one. guys it's seeker here with another video so just before i start this little review on this trailer i want to let you know some information so basically i want you to know that this is not just a mortal kombat channel it's gonna be whatever i see shit i'm doing here uh it's gonna be mostly mk related i'm guessing so let me explain that a little better so the the reason I came up with Cyber Combat Realm is because Cyber is supposed to stand for like Transformer stuff originally. And then Combat Realm was supposed to be the Mortal Kombat aspect of things. But my channel is more of a video game stuff, Mortal Kombat stuff, Transformers and whatever the hell else I feel like I'll ever do, maybe, possibly. We'll just see. It's just the reason you guys haven't seen any Mortal Kombat stuff here. I mean, sorry, any Transformer stuff here is because I never thought about what I wanted to do with Transformers, at least on this channel, because, you know, 20 other different channels are doing the same thing. So I didn't want to do the same thing. I don't like copying other people all that much. Uh, you know, I want to make things as unique as possible. So with that being said, you know, subscribe, like, dislike, and comment, and let's get to the video. So we're, today we're going to be watching the Transformer 1 trailer. Transformer 1 is essentially supposed to be like this prequel uh, Transformers movie set before all the films in the live action so let's see what they got let me turn down this music real quick if i can find it all right we're turning off that music and we're gonna play the video so let's see uh i might pause it just to let you know how i feel in certain areas what i like and i don't like it's gonna be like a trailer review rant uh breakdown kind of thing so how long do you think we'll be here i'm not talking to you <laughs> so off the bat it seems like they're teenagers this is supposed to be optimus prime before he was optimus prime which originally he was orion pax and then this is supposed to be Megatron, right? You know what? We are so screwed. Thought you weren't talking to me. You two, come with me. Report to. Is that Blitzwing? No, that's not Blitzwing. I actually don't know who that is. Weird. Waste management. Hi there. I'm V127. I'm actually. Bumblebee. So essentially what they're doing here is basically using the B-127 from the Bumblebee film, which his original name was always Bumblebee. I don't know why the hell they decided to give him some stupid robotic name, even though I get he's a robot, but Cybertronians didn't really have like stupid names like that. You know what I mean? Like Megatron was called D-16 for some reason. Like, no, uh, Megatron's name, I forget what it was, but he would call himself Megatronus, for example, because of one of the 13 primes. And then they, he shortened his name to Megatron, and that's it. So that, that's kind of like working on some nicknames. The, the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron, which is actually pronounced Badassatron. Um, we're gonna call you B. <laughs> Why does he sound more like Megatron than Megatron? Ah, B. 
I know we're just lowly worker bots who can't even transform. So apparently they can't even transform. Interesting. I wonder why. They go right in pack. Don't you want to see what's out there? Sorry. Don't you want to see what's out? I mean, I don't mind the golden eyes. They're like a orangey, yellowish um, color. Sorry about the background noise. Um, let's see. He has the black helmet, like the original G1. Out there. There's a reason no one goes to the surface. Wait, what? The OG Megatron? Oh. Please don't let it be some timeline bullshit. There's a reason no one goes to the surface. It's dangerous. Why'd you bring jetpacks? If we survive this, I'm gonna kill you. I accept those terms. So basically Cybertron is going to be like in Beast Wars, which was basically a metal planet with like techno organic life in it. And I don't know if I really like the whole Pixar Disney vibe that the movie gives. I get it. It's for a specific audience. But at the same time, I do like a more serious Transformer movie because... I like them. I like it in the middle because I can understand that they were younger, so they were living life all cool and whatever. And then the war breaks out. I can understand that, but it feels too goofy. And I wish it would take itself a little bit more seriously, but we'll keep seeing. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the fuck? And he's like, oh, no, fuck that. I'm out of here. You have proven yourself worthy. Take these and access. Okay, so apparently that's supposed to be Alpha Trion, even though he looks like Galvatron. Okay, I, I don't even know. And those things I thought, I thought those were the Matrixes. I thought he made him multiple matrices, but you'll see. It's actually a T-Cog. T-Cog is what allows the Transformers to transform in Generation 1. Your full potential. Nice. It's time to show them we are more than meets the eye. We can transform now. On three. One. See what I mean by go too goofy? Ha! It's working. Where's my head? How do we use these things? See, that makes sense. Because if you watch um, the original, I think even in the G1, they had to basically learn to transform. And in the IDW comics, you had to learn to concentrate on how to transform until you can do it naturally because you might get stuck mid-transformation or something like that. And you can get out of it, but it's just, it's going to be hard if you don't master it and learn how to properly do it. But let's go on. Yeah, right here. Like that, for example. Woo! <laughs> uh, guys, that's not good. Oh, no. Those might be the Quintessons. Or something similar. We've got these powers for a reason. Let's use them. All right, so she turns into a, a motorcycle. A Cybertron and Cycle, basically. Are those just her? Yeah. Yeah, those are Decepticons, it seems. A whole bunch of Seekers. 
we stand here together as one. Oh. Here together as So that looks like it might be arachnid. You can tell because of how the face is structured and, and the sides of the arms. One. Then you have sound wave, star scream, and shock wave. I'm guessing star scream is leader for now. I'm not understanding. Whoa! Ho -ho! I got a battle mask. It appears with this guy. Knife hands? I have knife hands. I can see that. These are not the bad guys. Why did you cut the door? What? No, it was already like that. Right? Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yes. It was. <laughs> it looks like Moonracer and uh, Silverbolt. Silverbolt, one of the aerial bots. Yeah, yes. it was already mm -hmm. like. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, I kind of agree with uh, Ronimus Primal on this. They should have kept the, uh, they should have brought recognizable voice actors instead of like bringing celebrities to do the voice acting. Uh, because we really got Thor, Black Widow, and other people that I don't even know voicing characters that I just don't know. I just, I would prefer that. Voice actors that were recognizable would have gotten the chance to play these characters uh, rather than celebrities. But hey, that's just my opinion. Uh, so it's going to be here in September. That's going to be cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to really feel about it. Like I said... I don't have a problem with a CGI movie because I've been wanting a movie that had about Transformers that has nothing to do with humans. I hate, I despise with a bloody passion the humans in every Transformer film, cartoons, and etc. Because they're fucking useless. Uh... They're always doing stupid shit. They take too much screen time. They're obnoxious. And they always, for some reason, can, like, fight the Autobots and, sh and or just Decepticons. Like, bro, these are, like, gigantic robots. Like, sure, they can have a way to fight back, but how they did them in the movies? Hell no. But anyways. I'm going to see if I can watch it. I want to hope that it's good, but <clears throat> again, this is catering to a different type of audience that is not my age range, and it's kind of sad because I wanted it to take itself a little bit more seriously, and I wish that it did, but we'll see. I don't like the too goofy vibes that it gives, but we'll see. We'll see. Again, we'll see. Anyways... Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Hope you like the new intros, the new icon. Let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate it. Have a good one and later.